Yeshi does want that. And business people have made it extra unfair. Right? Yeshi? Yes. You can't do your business. Garuri to hai. First of all, uh, my apologies on behalf of uh, the company that uh, Dr. Majid couldn't come here. We had some people from uh, US FDA inspecting uh, our facilities. We were expecting it to get over uh, yesterday, but it went on, it's going on for a couple of more days. So basically, I promise that uh, we will bring him back maybe with a larger audience, a larger place, very soon. <laughs> Normally, I am one of the audience when Rajesh speaks, and uh, of course, when our founder and managing director, Dr. Majid, speaks. This time, JSG and Santoshi forced me to give, me a, give a speech. I normally do it. I normally don't do it. <laughs> I am always behind the scene, doing some small things here and there, supporting the teams and doing the back-end operations. Given an opportunity, what I would like to share with you is my 12 years association with Sunny Labs and what, what I learned from there. The best thing what you can learn from Sunny Labs is how to do things differently. Let's take the history. Going back to Dr. Muhammad Majid's journey to USA, normally a Keralite would land up in Dubai or Middle East after studies. Dr. Majid planned to go to USA. That was the first thing which he did differently. Reaching there, he got into the best pharmaceutical company in the world, which is Pfizer, and was the research head of Pfizer. After completing his PhD, and when he was placed as the highest player in the company, in the pharmaceutical company, he decided to quit one day. No one in their right mindset would have done that, because Pfizer is a company, it is the biggest pharmaceutical company in the world, and Dr. Majid, with his PhD, was sitting at the top of the research there. One morning, he decided that I quit my job and do something different. It really took. In fact, he was telling me that he didn't understand what he was doing, but he was very sure that he could do something. The first option was to start a drug company because he was in the drug field. He never did that. He said drug companies are into curative things. That means they need medicines for curing. Why shouldn't I do something? Why should people fall sick? And I come from a land of Ayurveda, which talks about preventive health care. So this was the second thing which he did, that he didn't get into the drug, he got into the preventive and took Ayurveda to USA. Now, how did he do that? He didn't just package Ayurveda in one bottle and say, this is an Ayurvedic product. He did a research, he did scientific evaluation, he did validation, and then presented to the, the US community the understanding, the scientific documentation, and the technicalities, and the importance of Ayurveda to them. That was when people in USA understood and started accepting the Indian traditional system of Ayurveda and the products. When we got into this herbal and alternative medicines, we what we did was we understood the actives. Any any product, any herbal uh, plant will have some good property. Identifying the property and then doing research on it is the most important thing. For example, you all know, you all sell turmeric. Look at turmeric. There are 167 varieties of turmeric in India. Some of them don't have 
curcumin at all. Some of them have 8% curcumin. How to understand which turmeric to take? So he brought in the principle of standardization. <coughs> Going one step ahead, he did the extraction using the SEFE, supercritical fluid, fluid extraction method, which is minus, which is without solvents. So every step of his way, he had done things differently. Now when it came to start a business in India, a retail business in India, we evaluated a lot of options. One was going OTC, retail like HLL, etc. But then understanding the power of network was there. And we, we were convinced that the best channel to take this product ahead was to use the direct selling business. I, I, I will cite an example for the commitment of Sami Lux in, this, in, in the research and delivering products. For example, lycopene is a product. You all know lycopene is a product. The lycopene fruit is cultivated in Vietnam by Sabinsa Vietnam, which is our company. Once the cultivation is done, it is imported to India. Sandy Labs does the extraction. Then it is a turn of Sabinsa Japan to encapsulate it into a wet soft gel. So look at the number of companies, the number of people, the number of units which are involved in delivering a product to you. What I mean is, we are very committed to this business. And we would like you to take this business very ethically and clearly forward. I'm sure with your dedication and commitment, we'll be able to capture the globe very soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.